T304 stainless steel tubes for the water fuel cell. Anodes positive tubes outside, cathodes negative tubes inside. One circle in the middle, you can perfectly fit six around it. That's the geometry of a circle. Uh, the anodes are very shiny, very conductive. Cathodes are very non-conductive with a calcium oxide coating that develops automatically. I can develop that coating in about uh, a day, a uh, day and a half, using maybe two amps at um, around 10 volts or so, and uh, maybe about 30 watts worth of power. Uh, running it for a couple hours, shutting it off, running for a couple hours, shutting it off, and so about day, day and a half, you'll have that coating. Now, let's look at what the conductivity is. And let me get a zoom in of the uh, powder. A little bit is on the inside of the cathode, but most is on the outside, and also a um, good little mount gets on a uh, ridge. So anyway, you can see that coating is definitely there. And it's easier to see when you take them out and you actually let them dry compared to if they're still sitting in water. Um, you may have quite a bit of that coating and may not realize it if your tubes are always wet. So let them dry out and uh, take a look at them. So anyway, this is a got it set for a, there's an ohmmeter there and I'll show you the conductivity. So you can see probe to probe is uh, good conductivity there. Now anode to anode, or very conductive, and if you um, you can see that that white powder coating is non-conductive. I mean, it, it scrapes. Up. I just touched the probes, but you can see. Um, I mean, less than a millimeter away, there's no conductivity at all. Doesn't matter which. Oh, just touched them. Okay not conductive. So there's a couple spots where the stuff is rubbed off and if you hit those spots obviously it's going to be conductive but uh, for the most part you just keep developing this coating and that's uh, restrictive to the electron current moving from the negative tube to the positive tube and that's exactly what you want if you're looking only for uh, voltage potential uh, sitting at each of the plates without the current flowing and so uh, you can see that this Calcium oxide coating is very non-conductive and is uh, very restrictive to uh, uh, the current from flowing and so this is very desirable. So there you go.